Hi there, welcome back to my channel Live Fire Studio. So in our last video, we saw the glimpse of the application that we will be developing during the course of this video. I hope you liked it and I hope that you all are boosted enough to start with this course. In this video particularly, we will be uh, dealing with few to do. So I have created a list of things that we will be uh, doing in this video. So very first thing is we will be talking about the manifest file and we will set up the manifest file according to uh, different Android versions. So there is a recent change that prevents us from building and running our uh, Android application on uh, emulators. So I will be discussing about that change uh, that has been happened in manifest file. Second, we'll be adding necessary libraries dependencies into our Gradle file uh, to uh, actually uh, start with the development. Uh, then we'll also be creating the navigation graph. I'll be showing how our navigation graph will look like. And finally, we'll start with our very first fragment, which will be link fragment. So without wasting much of a time, let's get started. So starting with the first point, which is our manifest file. So uh, the major change which has happened in manifest file uh, after Android 12 uh, is the behavior changes. So I'll quickly take you to the uh, page, uh, official page of Android. So this is the official page of Android which targets the this setting. So it, it it's called safer component exporting. So it says that if your app targets Android 12 or higher uh, and contains any activity services or broadcast receivers, then you must explicitly declare Android exported attribute for this component. So if you do not do this, your app will throw you an error. And even if uh, you build a package, you do the uh, you build uh, Android build package and upload to uh, Play Store. And if some users will download that application, they won't be able to run that application and they won't be able to even install that application because Android will prevent us from installing uh, that application. So to prevent this from happening, uh, we have to add this Android exported tag as true or false in any of the activities, broadcast receivers or services which we will be using. Let's just uh, quickly see the behavior changes if we add this exported and what happens if we remove this exported. So first with the normal behavior, if you are on Android 12, and you have done the export it true. I'll try to run this application. I have my emulator here. See, it's running. It means that our application is installed and it's ru it's running right now on my device. Now I'll just quickly toggle it to false. Now it might be false or it uh, it might happen that if you are not working on Android 12 then this will not be present as your default uh, scenario. So in that case uh, you have to include this line. So if I do it false although it's throwing me an error the build will complete but nothing will work. So currently the application is running. If I restart the application let me just first stop so it stopped. Now I sh uh, let me start the application again. See, launch succeeded, but nothing worked. If I run this, it will say app not installed. But actually, the app was installed, and we saw that it's running. Uh, but just because we haven't exported this activity, it, it will say that the app won't install. So it's very important to include this tag after Android 12, which comes under behavior changes. Now, turning back to true and we'll run it back again and it's up and running the last thing which is pending in a manifest file is uh, are the permissions that we require to run this application so although we are not uh, going to develop all the modules uh, upfront, but still we will add the required permissions beforehand so that when the actual modules will be developed at that time uh, we'll be good to go uh, with the actual permission seeking. So we require three major permissions for this application. So in order to add the permission, all you have to do is uh, you have to uh, after this uh, inside this manifest file outside the application you need to add the stack called uses uh, permission 
then after this you just need to enter the name of the permission so suppose that we are working with internet so type internet and this is the permission for the internet that's it second permission which we require is the uh, network state because uh, along with the internet we also require that whenever the network is available then we should get the notification or if network is not available then uh, we should actively monitor the network state so use this permission uh, active net access network state and the last permission is the camera uh, use permission camera so this is a uh, camera is a special permission other two permission will automatically get granted and for the camera you need to have a permission checker so if camera permission is not granted then you need to ask user to provide the permission for the camera and the last thing which we want to do is to have our own icon for distinction so i have already imported uh, uh, my icon called ec2 inside the drawable folder uh, I'll also be providing the links to this icons and uh, or I'll also be pointing you towards the repository where all the codes and final files will be present. So I'll mention everything in my description below. But for now, uh, I have the downloaded icon which we'll be replacing here. So all you have to do is that uh, give the path of that icon here. So the I uh, image icon name is Royal EC2 and also do the same thing with the round icon. Uh, ec2 so now when you run this application you'll be seeing that our icon has been replaced with the uh, the icon which we provided in our manifest file and also when we start nothing will change because we haven't added any functionality and that's all for the video thank you for watching so till now we were just playing around with the components but from next video we'll be actually starting the application development with you know, flavors of our final application so stay tuned in our next video we'll be starting with navigation components hope to see you in next video till then peace out